Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're enjoying it. The sun's absolutely blinding me, but we've just finished our morning run, about seven kilometers, uh, well, 7.3 kilometers, feeling great on that absolute runner's high. We got up early, about five o'clock. Didn't really want to get out. It took me about 20 minutes to put my shoes on, but we eventually got out and done it. So, good run. I'm gonna go back home now, get showered, get ready for work, and I'll see you in a minute. Might throw a little clip in on me running. So, might skip to that first. We're getting the miles in, lads. I'm waiting to hear the 2th of July. We got into the London Marathon. So we're really trying to go for that sub four hour, sub four hour goal. Uh, but if I don't get into London, I'm going to do Manchester anyway. Loads of different runs in between that time. So stay tuned for that. But sub four hour, we're coming to. We're dressed, ready. We've come to pick Tay up. I'm running late. I just couldn't get off the sofa for some reason. Like, just couldn't be bothered. But, we're up, we're here. We're just waiting for Tay to come in. Morning, Tay. Yo, bro. Sorry I'm late. It's all right, I just really couldn't get off the sofa this morning. It's all right, sleeping beauty. You know, since all of us, did not it? Hello, it's terrible, <laughs> but. No gym today? No, I went for a run this morning. Oh, fair enough. No gym this morning, went for a run, so. Now we can go. I'm only like 15 minutes late, but it's all right, we move. Today's job, we are finishing the first fix on this kind of coach house, sort of living area up here. And then downstairs, we have got the garage where we've got the fuse wall going in. We've got bulkhead lights going in, a uh, few sockets. We've got to run all the circuits for them and then get everything second fix. So let me take you through the materials we've got for today. First time installing a fuse box, fuse board. We've got a little six way to go in for the garage to supply upstairs and downstairs. We've got some metal clad sockets to go in. A uh, floodlight on the front of the garage, obviously RCBOs. Uh, land pack for the armored torpedo joint as we've got to extend the cable that's near the driveway. So we've got to extend that up to here. We are using the JCC bulkheads, black bezel, and that's pretty much it going in today. So we're going to get everything sort of first fixed. First fix wires up here, the lights have already been done. So that is the switch ready for the lights. We have got socket center of there to go in, socket center there and socket on that back wall to go in so we need to run that in probably just run a 25 radial for up here and then downstairs we will run a another radial this is the old torpedo joint that goes into the house so what we're going to do is take this bit take this side off redo new torpedo joint whole way up to the shed. It's all about the attention to detail. Been dragging this armoured through all the mud, but then this bit is not going to get buried. So we're going to wipe this down two once a right old muddy bit of armour in a nice garage. Just using the big whites to wipe it all down make it look a little bit presentable. Armoured in through to the garage and we're just going to mount the board Someone, somewhere up there, I think. We'll just get a bit of wood, strap it across those two uprights and then mount the board on that. Then we can just go back entry with all our cables coming in. This is the fuse box, fuse board. First impressions, pretty neat to be fair. Comes with, comes with little clamp for the meter towels, already pre-installed, and then the surge protection already installed, breaker for it, 100 amp main switch, and then a bag 
with your grommet strip and buzz bar labels pretty decent so boards up mounted screw washer just some n6 washers and then just some wood screws armored in i'm going to come top entry so then we can just dive straight into there uh yeah i'm gonna mess about with doing a torpedo joint while tay glands this off into the board so no pressure no pressure sir <laughs> It's been a while since I've done one of these resin joints, but it's like riding a bike, isn't it? Really. Once you do it once, you know how to do it. So, we're going to go smash that out. But, I mean, if you've never done one before, let me sort of show you uh, what's in the pack, what you get in the pack, and go through it. So, this part just snaps off. Snap that part off. But then we want to keep this because this is the lid let's go on there once you click that on there that lid will go there i'm going to make off the armored and then i'll catch up with you once i've made off the armored because everyone's seen the armored being stripped back before right so we have just stripped it back um usually you would make sure they're quite even but where it's only a six mil cable I'm just gonna leave them long, weigh them up, then I can wrap them around, put them in, and then we have the earth that goes from there to there. As it's two core coming in, I'm just gonna get our earth and put that in the wrap around. These are great six mil weigh goes. Instead of using the crimpers, why not just use these six mil weigh goes? We've got the earth strapped to the outer sheathing of both of them and the earth from the free core we just also tucked it in as well now we put the resin in so that just comes off that comes off and we just mix it all about mix 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 give it a thorough mix and then once that's all mixed together ready to go we can just snip the corner pour it into the top and then let that set and that's job done note to self tape up the sides before you put the resin in because it just ended up pissing out the side but we haven't done one in a little while and it didn't go too bad so we're just going to tape up the whole lot now let it set over and crack on with the other jobs so lunchtime roundup i'm having a bit of pasta tay's just been weighed in by pasta I got demolished, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but, round up. <coughs> Jesus. Resin joint's done. Tay, you've done the... Fuse. Done the board. Yeah, you've done the power into the board. Mm -hmm. Armoured, glanded off. Board's up. So, after lunch, we get the cables in. Get all the circuits in. Second fix the lights. Second fix the two metal clad sockets. And then I think we're pretty much there, aren't we? Mm. Gosh circuits are all in at the board we've gone over there we've done the upstairs sockets we've got the socket over there and the socket in the shed behind we've got the lights up tages second fix in there and then we're just going to second fix the board then we're pretty much there lovely sun's out stopped raining we're pretty much wrapped up with the job now we're just tidying everything up getting ready to leave um Board's done. First time using the fuse box board. Pretty good to be fair. Pretty good standard. Um, socket, one more socket to do. Because uh, they're locked up the shed now. So we've got to do that. Come back, test it. When the client's back in, we can get it livened up. Uh, once it's livened up, then we can run all the tests. Do all the tests. And then upstairs, once that's boarded, we can come back, so probably come back all in one hit. We've got a dust till dawn sensor to do for the driveway lights. And then that's pretty much it. That's the job wrapped up. We had a good crack at it today. So that's us done for today. I'm knackered. Tay's knackered. Catch you on next one. Have a good one. Stay grafting. Hit that subscribe button. Peace out.